Hey everyone, and welcome back to Sports Design School. Now on this channel we talk a lot about graphic design, we talk a lot about tutorials, PSDs, all of that good stuff. But every now and again it's important that we take some time to appreciate the work that you guys are creating, and that's what this series is for. Today I'm just going to be breaking down some of the designs that blew my mind this week. And trust me, each one of these is going to blow your mind as well. These are fantastic designs from super talented designers. So I'm just going to dive right in and start breaking down some of these designs. So number one on my list, and these aren't in order of ranking, but just in order of how I save them on Instagram, is this design from underscore JW Graphics. And it's a soccer design that I, <laughs> I mean, it really stands out. The way that he used these kind of red and blue stripes in like a motion blur type style, but also the multiple cutouts as well, just really looks unique. I also love whenever I get the chance to highlight different sports to take that opportunity. And we don't always cover a lot of soccer here on this channel. It's something I'm hoping to do here more in the future. But I really love this design and I think he did a great job of executing on this unique look. So shout out to underscore JW Graphics. We really appreciate the hard work you've been putting in and we can't wait to see what you come up with in the future. Again, I'll be sure to put the links to all of these people's Instagram down in the description so you can check them out and give them a follow because like I said, these are all super talented designers. Number two, this design from Ethan J Design of Luka Doncic. And so many things about this design stand out to me. Number one being the 77 text. It's a really cool 3D looking element and I just think Ethan J Design does a great job of incorporating it into the rest of the design, kind of with that gold theme. The other thing that really stands out is the lighting. From the circular lights that look kind of at the base of Luka Doncic's neck, to some of the lighting that he puts in overlays, and even some of the fragmented lighting on the corner of his design. I just think it all encompasses super well to complete this kind of unified look. And then also there's like the, I think that's like storm clouds in the background or something along those lines, but it just all blends together super well and creates one awesome piece. Ethan J Design, you absolutely crushed this and you deserve all the praise in the world for this design. Keep up the great work and can't wait to see what you come up with next. Next up on our list is this design from King X Designs. That's design with a Z, not an S. And this design stood out to me for so many different reasons. Number one being baseball, love covering baseball. Baseball design always takes a unique approach compared to other sports just because it's not necessarily as action based. The photos kind of have to speak for themselves more. But I really love the way that he incorporated the Japanese theme throughout this design. From the mountains to the, I believe that's a Japanese temple or something along those lines to the flowers and even the Japanese text. I just think it all looks really sharp. I really love the way that he used the blending modes within the Angel's jersey to really create another layer to this design. And all in all, the coloring looks really awesome. I mean, like the red mixed with the white background mixed with the subtle blues in the mountains, all of it just blends together super well. So King X Design, you absolutely crushed this. Thank you so much for putting this work out there. Like I said, make sure you go follow him out because I've been keeping up with a few of his designs lately and he really is doing a great job. Next up is this design from Mish X Graphics. Now, this one is a little bit close to my heart, my Atlanta Hawks, and this design is of Trey Young. And one of the things I really enjoyed about this design was the specific detail that Mish X Graphics goes to in his design. So you can see all the different elements from like the number 11 start button to the Atlanta word mark at the top to the Trey Young text, even to the small logo details throughout the design. I just think he went to great detail to pick apart all the small details. And detail is such an important part in design because if you really hone in and focus on details, it really stands out. And that's one of the things I really appreciate about his graphic. The other thing is, I love like the 
at the bottom, there's like the Instagram bar, like the home search plus, I guess that's a like bar. I don't know, maybe that's not Instagram, I don't know. But it just really stood out to me, it's a cool element, along with the live uh, streaming up at the top left, very cool elements. I definitely recommend checking out Mish X Graphics on Instagram. This next design comes from Spitzer Graphics, GRFX, -G and it is super awesome. You can tell just by looking at it. But my favorite part of this design is the way that he incorporates all of these different cutouts into one seamless image. Looking at this, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's four different cutouts. Instead, it feels like it's just one cohesive image. And when you tie it together with the San Diego Padres logo that's kind of glowing, and then you add in the flower details, the sunflowers, that, oh, it looks so good. And then the butterfly detail, love that as well. And then there's like a subtle halftone texture in the background, which I think is just the perfect amount of texture to make the background not look plain, but not too much. And that's a very fine line to try and walk, is the line between not doing enough and doing too much. And I think Spitzer Graphics does it perfectly here. I really enjoy this design. Thank you so much for the, your hard work in putting this together and we can't wait to see what else you come up with. This next design is a little bit of a different realm. I normally tip, I mean I typically cover sports designs here at Sports Design School, but I love to cover other things and really branch out from the traditional sports design world. And that's what we get here with this design by, I don't know if this is SRA or SRA or however to pronounce it, but nonetheless, this is an awesome looking design. The thing that really stood out to me, it's a very simple composition. So it really does look like an art piece. It looks like it holds up. You could put it in a museum and it would look great. But it also incorporates so many little elements from like this life buoy, life raft, is that what you call it? I don't know, we'll figure it out. In the foreground with like a red overlay on the pretty simple black and white image. And then just the text treatment on this design with the little Yachty, it is just enough to where you can kind of understand what it's supposed to be, but it's not too much to where it just looks like basic filler text. The textures on it look great. It almost has like a little bit of a spray paint cloud-like effect. And then there's so many small details, like I said, with the flower and then the small buoy in the background. I really hope it's a buoy, because if it's not, then oh well. But this little Yachty design, I think, really stands out and looks great. Thank you so much, des designed by SRA. Great work. This next design comes courtesy of NDP Graphics. Now this graphics account is run by Neil Patel, who's a designer for Yukon Women's Basketball. And Neil is a super talented designer. I mean, this is one of the must follows on Instagram because everything that he puts out seems to be heat. So big shout out to him for that. But today's design I'm talking about is this Chris Paul design that you see on the screen. And the thing that I love about this Chris Paul design is the way that it pushes lighting to the edge. So it has two different unique lighting elements. It has this neon sign image in the back. And then it also has the circular lens flare type light overlays in the corners of the image. Now the thing is, these lighting elements are combined so well that it feels like one cohesive image. And then it's also reflected on the cutouts themselves. You can see the color correction and the editing on these images reflects the lighting environment that he's set up here in this design. And it just looks so well done and so professional. So shout out to Neil for this. Like I said, I love the neon light effect in the background. I would honestly love to see more neon light effects. I just think it's a cool, unique element that you can incorporate in any design. The truth is, I think it might be kind of hard to find neon light elements like this. I think, is that spelled out CP3? I guess it is. So maybe this is something that Neil created from scratch, and if so, that is awesome. Neil, if you're watching this video, let us know down in the comments because this design is insane. If this actually is a CP3 in the background like I think it is, that is absolutely mind-blowing. So Neil, thank you so much for your hard work. Everyone, NDP Graphics on Instagram, make sure you check them out and give them a follow. This design from Design with Dan on Instagram, seriously awesome. I love the way that whenever you have like a side profile shot like we have here on this Russell Westbrook design, 
I love the way that you can incorporate that to add a really dynamic look to your design. And then also I'm just a sucker in general for like the kind of effect where you have like multiple basketballs. I've seen this before with like people do it with four leaf, leaf clovers for like Celtics designs or you use it with basketballs or whatever it may be. And you had multiple versions and then you had a subtle motion blur. So you can see there's a basketball just here at the front, one kind of by the Russell Wilson cut out in the back and then one above Russell Wilson's head there. And I just think it adds a cool detail, like a motion element. And then another thing that Design with Dan did great here is just the lighting and then the subtle kind of overlays here. So it looks like we have like a little bit of a white scribble. I don't know if that's his signature or something along those lines, but then when you pair that with the lighting coming from the back of the scene, it all looks really great. So overall, love this design from Design with Dan. Keep up the great work. And then I have one more design that I really wanted to get to today, and it was this design from 49 Grams. Now this design is super simple, but I think that's why I like it so much. Simplicity speaks to me in profound ways, and I think this design with 49 Grams captures all of the right details that you're going for. So it's seriously just a cutout, and then a series of illustrations. But the illustrations do a great job of telling the story. So it looks like we have the city of San Francisco in the background with the Golden Gate Bridge, some roads in between, and then you have a plane and some cloud detail. And then you have this cutout on top of it. And it just looks so awesome and so simple, but it almost reminds you of a childlike desire to create artwork. And like the kid is sitting there and scribbles this design together, and then you have the real cutout interacting with that design. I don't know, it just brings together this whole mix of artwork and different patterns and different looks, and I really appreciate it. So 49, 49 grams, thank you for this design, and keep up the great work. We can't wait to see what else you have. But that's it guys, that's all I have for today. If you want to be featured in one of these videos, you don't have to tag me or anything, just post on Instagram and I'll be scrolling through and I'll be looking for your designs and I would love to highlight your work here on the channel. Like I said, you guys are all super talented and I really appreciate what you guys have been doing over the last few months with this channel and with this community. But that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe if you aren't already and I'll catch you guys in the next video.